You can use the extrude tool to create 3D geometry by pushing or pulling a face or closed sketch in a linear direction and defining a draft angle to add taper to the side faces of the geometry. The extrude tool is also one of the Shaper 3D tools that allows you to perform Boolean operations. To use the extrude tool, go to Tools and then select Extrude. Next, select a face or sketch profile you want to extrude. In the History sidebar, this selection will be your profile parameter. Drag the linear arrows to move the face dynamically. If you're extruding based on distance, you can use the dimension label to input a value for the length of your extrusion. If you want your extrusion to intersect with another object, simply drag your pointer over to that object to automatically adjust the final extent of the extrusion. To define a draft angle for your extrusion, drag the curved arrows to move the side faces dynamically. In the history sidebar, extruding based on distance or to an object is defined by the extent parameter. If you want to perform a Boolean operation on your extrusion or just simply want to make it into a new body, select the Boolean badge and then choose from the available options. In the history sidebar, you can update the Boolean operations using the result parameter. To finish your extrusion, select Done. To view or refine history parameters for the extrude tool, find the specific step for your extrude action and open the expandable card. From there, you can update the parameters for profile, extent, object, distance, draft angle, and result. To choose a different face or closed sketch to extrude, click or tap the Edit or Select button beside Profile, then select Done to finish. Click or tap the dropdown beside Extent to define the final extent of your extrusion. If you selected to Object as your extrusion extent, click or tap the Edit or Select button beside Object to choose the object to which you want your extrusion to intersect with, then select Done to finish. If you're extruding towards an angled object and want your extrusion to be the same length as the closest point of the angle, turn on to closest point. If you selected distance as your extrusion extent and have an exact distance in mind, you can define the value in the distance field. You can also define an exact draft angle in the draft angle field. To update the Boolean operation for your extrusion, click or tap the dropdown beside the result parameter to choose a different option. Lastly, depending on the Boolean operation you chose, click or tap the Select or Edit button to choose the applicable target bodies for your Boolean operation then select Done to finish.